been an educator and dealt very actively with both systems for the last 35 years. What I can say is CBSC is rather content driven, whereas IB focuses on more of skill development, communication skills. It allows students to analyze, think beyond what is there in front of them and actually draw parallels to the real world. I think therein lies the challenge and it also prepares students thereby for the 21st century and the skills that they need. I'm not saying that CBSE is not trying. CBSE is trying to reinvent itself, but they are also somewhere limited because they are more an examination board and also the fact that they are dealing with masses. They have to see what is the kind of expertise that is available to them. When they are an exa examination board, I think the kind of teaching that happens also is related to the assessment and vice versa because they will teach according to how students are going to be assessed. And that is where the problem lies because if the assessment is content driven, the teaching will be content driven. And that is where IB has taken a sea change in the way it's taken learning inside the classroom. Now, if I were to take English as a subject and give you an extract from Animal Farm. Now, we've all heard of Animal Farm by George Orwell. Animal Farm is a political satire. Napoleon with the dogs following him now mounted onto the raised portion of the floor where Major had previously stood to deliver his speech. He announced that from now on, the Sunday morning meetings would come to an end. They were unnecessary, he said, and wasted time. In future, all questions relating to the working of the farm would be settled by a special committee of pigs presided over by himself. These would meet in private and afterwards communicate their decisions to the others. The animals would still assemble on Sunday mornings to salute the flag, sing Beasts of England and receive their orders for the week. But there would be no more debates. If the students had to answer questions based on this extract at CBSC, they would be given questions like, who is Napoleon? Why does Napoleon say that the Sunday morning meetings would come to an end? What would the animals still do on Sunday mornings? Now, as you see, this is completely content driven and the student doesn't really have to think out of the box to answer these questions. In case the same extract were given at the IB level, the question may say something like, examine the ways in which the global issue of your choice is presented through the content of form of one of the works and one of the texts that you have studied. Here, the student will compare the text from Animal Farm to the RK Lakshman cartoon and be assessed in the following criteria of knowledge and understanding, analysis and evaluation, focus and organization, and language. So you see how it allows the student to think beyond what has been written there to actually relate it to the world around him or her. Now the questions I've already shared with you. A typical CBSE student would answer these questions in the following way. Napoleon was one of the pigs living at the animal farm. He was the head and a dominating animal that replaced Jones on the farm. The second question, why had the meeting stopped? Because they were unnecessary and wasted time according to Napoleon. Why would they still continue to congregate? The animals would salute the flag, sing Beasts of England and receive their orders for the week. Now, if the IB student had to answer the question, the sample answer would read something like this. Animal Farm is a satirical fable that was written by George Orwell in 1945. Allegorical to the Russian Revolution and the Communist Soviet Union, it was written to make the local masses aware of how entrapped they were in the grips of the so-called communism. The political cartoon that I have chosen is one of the works of R.K. Lakshman and was published in 1967. His cartoons depict the Indian common man experiencing life in India and conveying his thoughts and opinions on events that affected the nation. Similar to the case of Animal Farm, Lakshman creates these cartoons with the purpose of raising awareness about the various events that took place in the country and which impacted the citizens. The chosen Animal Farm extract takes place after Napoleon's plan of driving Snowball out of the farm had been successfully carried out. The political cartoon and the events that occur in this extract highlight the global issue of how corrupt entities make use of language as a tool for spreading propaganda. One gets to witness how Orwell employed various figurative, stylistic and persuasive elements as a means of spreading propaganda 
as seen through various characters of the novella, such as Napoleon and Squealer. Similarly, R.K. Lakshman's political cartoon illustrates how corrupt entities make clever use of language in order to persuade the masses to think in a certain way by putting a range of figurative, stylistic and persuasive techniques to use. Both the artists, through the use of a variety of shared and contrasting tools, allow the readers to explore the global issue of language being used to spread propaganda in societies that lacked voice and freedom. To conclude, I'm sure you yourself have understood that the CBSE student will actually lift a phrase straight from the extract when he's asked the question, who is Napoleon? Whereas an IB student will look at the extract of Animal Farm and the cartoon strip by R.K. Lakshman and be able to see how propaganda is used to control a population and take away their freedom. So IB as a program actually teaches our students critical thinking, analysis, they are able to go beyond a text and then communicate it effectively. Now when we talk of CBSE or IB, we have to understand that all assessment and instruction are related. And instruction is usually assessment driven. So when we are looking at what happens in a CBSE class or an international baccalaureate class, it stems from the fact that assessment is done in this narrow way. So if we were to see how an IB student benefits, an IB student is using his faculties to think beyond the textbook and this is what will stand him in good stead at university and later on make him a very responsible citizen.